Hi friends, thank you for joining me. Today, I am in Greenville, South Carolina. This city has a food scene that has exploded in recent years and has always had a long-standing reputation for its own food and beer culture. On this episode, I want to discover some of these places with you. I'm starting my day with coffee from the Village Grind over in the West Village of Greenville, an absolute gem of a coffee shop. Our buddy Brian, who's our local food guide this weekend, took us there. I got their iced latte flavored with their orange cardamom and mocha syrup. That is an excellent latte for a hot day like today. What I love the most about this latte, the syrup is only there to infuse and add flavor. It does not overpower the coffee. Perfect balance. Right now, I'm in Falls Park, standing on Liberty Bridge, a beautiful grand green space in the middle of downtown. There's a waterfall, there's kids playing in the water, there's people around taking pictures, dogs going for walks. There's so many places here, so much to offer. I'm starting to get hungry, let's go. I'm at Basta Bakery in the West Village of Greenville. It's a vegan bakery and this is their doozy cookie sandwich. This cookie looks really good, super soft. I can just feel it, it's chewy. Mmm. Oh, it's like a cream cheese filling. Wow. It's a doozy for sure. <laughs> that cookie is so soft but has enough structure, it holds itself together. And the cream cheese filling is delicious. Nice like sugary crust to it. I also got their Hostess Cupcake. Who doesn't like one of these? And it's a vegan version. Let's try this out. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's spot on. It's actually more of that deep chocolate flavor a natural like scratch made chocolate flavor. That's really good, I love the cream in the middle too. I forgot that it would have that, what a nice surprise. These pastries are made really, really well. It doesn't matter whether you're vegan or not. Right now I'm at Gather. This is an open food hall. So you have open air, all the containers are different restaurants and bars. Very cool energy in here. I've got their tamarind margarita. You've got that tamarind paste with what looks like tagine on the rim, a lime, and what seems to be a very juicy tamarind full margarita. Mm. Whoa. You have that traditional margarita lime tequila flavor. Sorry, the tagine salt rim is pinching my cheeks, but I love it. And it's also got that tamarind flavor, so it's super tart. And then you've got fresh tamarind juice in there as well. This is delicious. Cheers. Had an awesome tamarind margarita at Gather. Now we're at the Commons at Unity Park. This is another food hall, indoor, outside combo. Can't wait to check it out, let's go. All right, we stopped into Community Tap here at the Commons and I got the Peachy Hive Hazy IPA slash Pale Ale, which are like two of my favorite things mashed together. Best part, this is from Heist Brewery, which is in our old hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina, where we lived for the last 10 years. And then we were about to walk off and Brian was like, you know what, I could really do a butter sandwich. And I was like, dude, what is a butter sandwich? This is a butter sandwich. They have it right here at Community Top. It's the perfect snack slash little light lunch if you want to keep drinking, but still are a little bit kind of hungry like we are right now. And it's baguette with rosemary, shaved ham, and literal pats of butter, which it's Vermont Creamery, a great, great brand of butter. And I cannot wait to dig into this. Look at how much butter that is. I'm never mad at that. Check that out. I can smell the rosemary now too. Oh yeah. Let's try this. Mmm. <laughs> oh. It's like being back in France. So much butter. It's melting. They keep it at room temperature 
so it's just like this beautiful bite of butter then ham then baguette you can get it lightly toasted but we're having it as Brian recommends it just on its own mmm that's lovely great with the beer I've never had a butter sandwich this is this is great this beer peachy keen You've got that haziness, very light on the hops, very juicy, not too fruity. My favorite beer to drink in the summer is Pale Ale. It's not too light, not too heavy. You have to try the local beer in this region. Greenville is serious about their beer scene. There's actually another brewery right behind me, a brew tap house within the commons. There are breweries everywhere. If you're not a big beer person, when you come here, you're gonna learn to like beer. There's like no way that you cannot. There's something for everybody. Look at this shaved ham, those rosemary specks in there, and then the butter just squeezing out as you're eating it. This is great. So we made our way back to downtown. This is Yeehaw Brewing Company. I got myself a dump all this time. We're in the shade, it's a little cooler down here. We can do a dunkel now. A dark beer, but crisp, still refreshing. So many malty, chocolatey notes to it. Delicious. So we're walking through downtown. We just left Yeehaw and we're headed to the Whale. And we saw the street sign. We thought it said McBee, but it's actually Maccabee. So, if you want to feel like a local Greenville, Greenvillian, Greenvillian, as Brian says, it's Maccabee. It's a scorcher today, and honestly, if you're walking through downtown Greenville, it's really hard to get from point A to point B without stopping in between. So, thanks to our handy dandy local resident <laughs> Brian, he had a stop at Camp, which is a restaurant and also open bar on the outside. The restaurant's closed right now, but we do get to have one of their old fashions with bullet rye, and they have a walk-up bar, so it's very casual. You can just come up and have a drink from a really, really nice looking place. So it's, it's always that like dichotomy in Greenville and the Carolinas where it's a really nice restaurant, but you can still show up really casual and enjoy the atmosphere. That's a perfect old fashioned. I've actually been noticing that the old fashions here don't have a cherry in them, and I'm not mad about it. I'm really just happy with that orange peel, and it's not too sweet. Uh, Luxardo cherry is great and it's classic, but it adds more sweetness to the drink that, in my opinion, I am okay without. We finally made it to The Whale, a beer collective serving some really rare brews along with some that you probably would know if you're a beer head. I'm having the Dissolver. This is a hazy IPA from Asheville and it is so delicious, juicy, crisp though. We're having this hazy IPA first, but then we're gonna try this Lambic that is pretty out of this world. We're letting it decant right now, so I cannot wait to try that. That is juicy and crisp. We've got like old school hip hop playing, and it is just a whole vibe in here. So I've wanted one, two, and three year old Lambic, okay. but uh, this one was bottled probably in 14 if I were to guess. Well, this is a pretty special model. You're gonna get a lot of like barnyard funk, uh, okay. yeah, we'll kind of like some, some like hard cheese. Yeah, okay. funk in it too. yeah fun, uh, earthy. Wow, totally different. Love that. De yeah. Definitely gonna have acidity, but not where it's gonna like melt your like right. animal energy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's super well balanced. Um, and then we'll leave like the last ounce of this because there's going to be some residual yeah. sediment at the bottom okay. of it and don't really want to drink Gotcha, that. okay. So we'll leave this in here for just a second. That's it. Okay. And then yep. we'll go ahead and we'll get it poured out for you guys. Okay. All right, so Brian is putting us on to something very special here. A Belgian Lambic. Lambics are the most original style of beer brewing there is to this day. This is a naturally fermented beer that just has 
so much aroma and so much to appreciate in the drinking and brewing process. So today we're going to get to try one of these lambics. And just off the top, you can smell the aromas. It's something to be appreciated and you can't knock it till you try it. So I'm getting apple, I'm getting that fermented fruit in there and I cannot wait to try this. We have this caramel golden apple juice look to it and it's still got some carbonation. Some of these lambics, because they're fermented naturally, have more or less carbonation to them depending on the bottle, but that's the treasure of trying it. You're getting something different in every bottle. Cheers. Brian is pouring the sediment into his cup. I'm totally telling you. I'm, I'm telling you right now. No, 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 no. It is this beautiful sour ale. It's got so much tart, slightly pungent flavor. You're getting notes of apple, tart, sour apple, like a Granny Smith. Got just a nice effervescence carbonation to it. It's not too heavy. This is a beautiful beverage. I'm so glad we're getting to try this today. All right, right now we're at UJ. I am having the UJ style burger. It's got jalapeno, cheddar, bacon on a medium rare burger. And then I'm also having the wings. That's what we had the first time we came. And I'm doing lemon pepper style. They're dry and just seasoned with the lemon pepper. I'm gonna try the chicken wings first. These are piping hot. They're so crispy. Look at that. Let's do some of this blue cheese. to perfection. They're not too juicy, but they're not dry. And they've got that seasoning, the crispy skin on the outside. That blue cheese is something they make in-house. It's not your usual blue cheese dressing. That's so good. All right, I'm about to dig into this burger, but look at how fresh these jalapenos are in here. That's not something jarred. Fresh chopped. The bacon looks so good. I'm gonna set this pickle aside, but let's go ahead and fold this over. Oh my god. Look at that. All right. I don't know what I like more, the burger or the wings. I'm just glad I got them both. Wow. <laughs> Carolinas have their own style of barbecue here, but this is actually a Central Texas style barbecue joint. And if it's good enough for South Carolina, it's good enough for me. Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, that is the reason to be here. Oh, yeah. Now, that like, what do y'all think? One pound of fatty brisket, one pound of pulled pork, one pound of ribs, two hot cut sausage. beef brisket, their hot gut sausage, and their cheddar sausage, mac and cheese, chili corn pudding, and potato salad, pulled pork, jalapenos, pickles, and pickled onions. Going in for this brisket first. It's so soft and tender. Oh my god. It doesn't need sauce, but it needs those pickles to cut the fat. Wow. 
perfect compliment and it comes with your tray too. So you don't even have to ask for it. It comes with it. Let's try this rib. These are huge spare ribs. Look how big each one of these is. flavor from the brisket. It's got more of this like apple wood flavor. You can see the meat is like red here. That's a different type of smoking process. It's so tender. I just needed my teeth just to grab it off the bone. You don't have, hardly have to chew. I can't emphasize enough how tender this is. I'm going in for the Texas hot guts sausage. This is the one I've been waiting for. It was recommended to dip it in the green chili sauce. The red potato salad. Looks like a mayonnaise base. It's good. Very light. Definitely made to be a refresher between all the meat. <laughs> Pulled pork is like super shredded. Very stringy. this mac and cheese. We've waited long enough. Mm. Mm. Thick, creamy. Tastes like real cheese. Very good. Still piping hot. We've gone through like half of this tray. Mac and cheese is still hot. This is their chili corn pudding. I heard a lot of great things about this one. You can't go wrong with that. Creamy cornmeal, that yellow corn, the kernels are in there like a nice little juicy bite. They just pop in your mouth. And then the chilies, a little bit of a kick. They also serve pickle jalapenos, so if you love spicy, this is it. at Vons, downtown Simpsonville, which is a suburb of Greenville. This is a food hall and just a really nice spot to hang out on a Sunday. I'm getting the Nashville hot calamari and the shrimp po' boy. All right, I got so excited when this hit the table. This is the Nashville hot calamari. Two things I love, spicy and calamari. Swimming in sauce, that breading is like true hot chicken breading with some pickles and some lemon juice. I'm not even gonna use a fork for it. Let me do this one. Wow. Okay, one thing. It's not really spicy at all. It has a little bit of a kick, but the flavor is out of this world. The crunchy freshness of the calamari is phenomenal. Then you have this drizzled sauce on there. It's got a little bit of a sweetness to it, almost like a barbecue, but not quite. The calamari, it's perfectly breaded all the way in and around, and it's just got so much sauce in it, they didn't skimp on that at all. Mm. Get a piece of pickle. Mm. This is the shrimp po' boy. You've got some nice, like a mayo special sauce on there, crispy shrimp, fresh tomato, and fresh lettuce in this po' boy bun. Let's give this a try. Mm. This is delicious. That crispy shrimp, room temperature tomatoes, so they're not like frozen from the refrigerator. The lettuce, perfectly shredded, and the bread holds together everything without breaking. I really, really like this sandwich. You've got that nice cornmeal on the bottom, just adds texture to it. And like that special sauce is just like squeezing out everywhere. So good. Parmesan waffle fries. This is comfort food all the way. So good. 
no meal is complete in South Carolina without some ice cream at the end of it, especially in the summer. So we're at the ice cream station. This is a freestanding ice cream shop right here in downtown Simpsonville, just down the street from the warehouse at Vaughn where we were having our shrimp po' boys. I got the cookies and cream milkshake with malted cookies and cream milkshake with whipped cream and a cherry on top. This is like a classic milkshake dessert. Look how cute this is. It's even got a lid on it for less mess. If you saw our split video, you would see at the end there was ice cream all over my hands. So I was like, I'm gonna go for a milkshake today. Nice long spoons. It's soft serve ice cream with chopped up cookies and cream in there. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Mm. Classic ice cream flavor. It's got like that milk ice kind of soft serve. Our weekend in Greenville was so much fun. We were really fortunate this time to have our buddy Brian show us all the local spots, take us to his favorite. We found some new places, tried some different things that we haven't had before. So this was just like a perfect weekend getaway. Greenville is definitely a city that has a quaint family style feel to it, but there is so much growing in here. The food, the beer, the music scene, all the culture is really developing and it's beautiful to see considering that we lived in the Carolinas for the last 10 years and now we're coming back to visit. It's just a great place to hang out if you wanna get a weekend getaway and have some great things. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember, like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out and we will see you guys on the next one.